the rules somewhere that way people can be prepared for the matches like this all right we're getting ready for the next match and here comes the tech squad I've said before and I'll say it again, I absolutely love the Tech Squad. It's a great team. I'm looking forward to this one, folks. Yeah, 2014 is starting off pretty well. I get to see Tech Squad once again in action. I've worked with them before. So let's see what they're going to bring to the table this year. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm just looking forward to this one all year. I've been looking forward to this. This is the best match of the year, I guarantee. This is going to be a great technical tag team match where they finally silence the power. Well, we'll see. There's still 361 days. They could always surprise us. No, the this, year. this is finally going to end. They, they finally got their match. You know what? It doesn't surprise me. Nothing with these idiots surprises me anymore. Well, they are sporting a nice attire. This. I Introducing mean, first, uh, coming to the ring, well, well, well. by the Golden Sheik from Tech Squad Arabia, weighing in at a combined 416 pounds. Oh, I'm sorry. Tech Squad Arabia? This is Tech Squad Arabia. Do you not know where that is? First time I'm here about it. Introducing the tag team of Mike Monroe and TC Reed. I'm not surprised, Florida, uh, this is what happens with the United States uh, public school system. They don't choose anything outside of the United States. And our opponents from sunny South Florida, weighing in at 767 pounds combined, Big Crush Barrington Hughes, Classy P.J. Murdoch, The Power! Well, here we go again, folks. From Another sunny year. South Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, this match has a step up, a very special stipulation. It is hair versus hair. What? I have the Clippers right here. It's been signed. It's a hair versus hair match. Well, there you go, folks. A very special matchup. And this is going to be very interesting right over here. Hair versus hair. It tag is a team hair match between hair match. the Tech Squad and the Power. So uh, the question is, who do you want to see ball? Well, clearly, the power. Sheik is actually four, but... I would like to see a text card ball. It doesn't matter what you want to see, it's what's going to happen. And 
didn't know we had Brian Dennison in the field. It works, it works for this crowd apparently, but whatever. By the way, it's good to Brian from WWE fans. Let's, let's keep this current. No one knows about that injury guy. Or whatever. Very sad though. No. Oh, the referee checking them up. He's getting ready for the matchup right here tonight. This is a very great idea. We all need a great idea of unknown element. You have unknown that are going on with this. And this is a great little Christmas present here for these guys. You know what? Speaking of Christmas, I happen to know that Classy BG Murdoch asked for a very special gift this year for Santa. Oh, really? And what is that? To get off of probation. What? what? I'm just saying. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and watch the match go on. And I'll leave that alone. You sound like that was the weirdest thing you heard. Uh, like I said, I'll just leave that alone. I mean, it's, it's even weirder when you realize that he's Jewish. <laughs> And the match is about to start. Here we go, folks. So we got Hughes in the middle. I think Tesco's undecided who's going to be the one that's going to start off the match. I mean, would you want to touch any of that? Like, what, yeah. Yeah. I'm 90% sure that Eric Hughes has sweated out about 50 pounds. I'm 90, and I'm also very pleased that if I touched the product, I would need a shout. I don't think they want to start this. I don't think they want to get their hands dirty. As they should be. They already had a match last show against these guys. Why did they do it again? Well, if they want to keep their hair, they're just going to have to get in the ring and earn it. They don't have to earn anything. They're very graciously giving them a second matchup. A match, by the way, that they shouldn't have even had in the oh. first place. Barrington Hughes is on his back, taunting Tech Squad to get in the ring. And here it goes, Adela delivers an elbow, and oh, both go. teams are working on Barrington now. Well, there you go. This is exactly what happens when your cockiness starts out. You start off being a little cocky, going up, staying on your back. I can do this, I can do it. And then what happens? Now they're getting their double team. This is what happens when you look down at a very good team. Tech Squad is taking advantage in the ring. Hughes is down, is facing TC Reed. And Michael Van Den. And then on the outside, BJ Murdoch is taking care of management. Mike Monroe and T.T. Reed are in the ring, working over the Lummox of Barrington Hughes, while B.J. Murdoch is being distracted. And see, look at this. Once again, proving the problem here. What does he do? When he finally does get away from the guys, he starts getting a little bit of a five seconds. And the ref is calling for that bell. It looks like everything just went out of chaos. And then Hughes is choked up. Oh no, this is, this is a big problem here. Yes. And here comes TC Reed bringing in a chair. And Hughes is in trouble. He is by himself in the ring. Doesn't look like BJ Murdoch realizes. Yes. Chair shot delivered to the back. That's the problem. BJ Murdoch finally getting his way off. See, that was the biggest problem. He was well, someone back. needs to stop this match. The match is stopped. You're ringing the bell as much as you want. Well, I'm trying to make sure people realize this match is over. they got to stop it's this over. You can ring the bell. The bullies when it comes to the power. What can you do? You attack your manager, Regina. Barrington Hughes is motionless in the canvas as Tech Squad took advantage of the situation. 
The ref is going to go ahead and give us a verdict. BJ Murdoch getting some payback. Getting beat up. Of course, and of here course comes he, the Of course, he's worried so much about non wrestling. Why is Tex one not coming in? And the fans are going crazy. They want to see that beard off. And the beard is off. Here comes the cavalry. Well, here we go. And now it's a 4-1. Hughes is still down. Someone needs to stop this. You know what? This is exactly what happens when you focus on someone that's not your opponent. So worried, you were so concerned about the other people like the Golden Sheik and Jimmy Shabara on the side. You didn't focus on TC Reed and Mike Monroe in the ring. And now look. Look at him. Look at him. When he regains consciousness, he's going to feel really silly. Oh, no. Taking advantage of the situation right here. As he like should. Oh, now it's, and now it's not okay. I love, I love this backstabbing here for the con. He's so, now it's not okay to use this side stuff. It's a blatant attack right over here. And they're taking advantage of the situation. No sportsmanlike conduct right here. It wasn't supposed to be like conduct earlier when he was trying to go after a man who was not even involved in the match. And they're going ahead. Listen, I don't have to agree. I don't have to agree with what they're doing with this, but at the end of the day, the power has to realize it's their fault that this is all happening. They asked for this match a million times. They asked for this match. They asked for the match again. We're probably going to ask for another match next month. This is not the Tech Squad's fault. This is just disgusting. It is just what disgusting. It is what it is. And unfortunately, they have nobody to blame but themselves. Disappointed because I was actually interested in watching this match develop from two great teams. Unfortunately, I've been disappointed. Well, unfortunately, life is not about what we want to see and what we need to see, and that's exactly what's going on now. Blood is spilling salt in the woods right there. And the fact that management hasn't done anything to go ahead and stop this. Of course they wouldn't, because it's all the power. Power begged, power pleaded, the needed this match. Asked and begged, pleaded on hands and knees for a second match with Tech Squad. Now, that now they want help? No, that's bullcrap. Well, here are the fans. They disagree with what you're saying right now. They can They're disagree all they want, but it's not their fault. Well, I'm glad this is over. Opinionated. Well, 
the blood is now flowing on the forehead there of B.J. Murdoch. Alright, here, hopefully people will see you if Hughes is okay. Someone needs to at least get the handcuffs there off of B.J. And that looks like that's what's going on. He looks like he needs medical attention. The man needs mental help is what he needs. We're seeing some movement over here from Hughes. Oh, that's a good thing. That's yeah. definitely a good thing. It would be it would be a real bad shame to see if he really got badly hurt here. Especially considering he is being brought into these problems here by his own tag team partner. Good that he's okay. He's getting up slowly but surely. And he'll be helped out to the back. They'll be taken to the back. That way, both of them can take some medical attention, and hopefully, we'll be able to see them in a future show. Well, knowing their stubbornness, we'll see them next show, trying once again to go up against the Tech Squad.